So how did you get discovered for Catfish? Is this something you went on an audition for? Were you doing stuff before then that led up to that? How did how did you get to that? So after Miss Teen USA, I was hell bent on becoming a dermatologist. I was like, I'm going to be a doctor. I'm going to be a dermatologist. That's going to be my job. And then um, I started school and second semester bio hit. And I was like, fuck this shit. I'm never going to be a doctor. Like, <laughs> I remember the teacher on the first day of like second semester bio was like, most of you in this room will never be doctors. And I was like, true. And I left and I signed up for communications classes because when I was Miss Teen USA, I got so much experience in front of the camera that I was like, oh, like this could be good for me. Like I could do something non-traditional. And so I just completely just leaned into that and transferred schools. I went back to New York City and um, started started working. Like I just started in class. I remember I would be in class and people would be taking notes and I would be like putting together my media kit and like sending out my reel to different like local news stations and being like, I can do this. I can do that. So I started doing some um, just like local news, like what to wear for fall, um, like best beauty products for Mother's Day, those kinds of things. Um, and just like little segments here and there, which was awesome. And then I was at home. I remember I was 25 going through my quarter century life crisis. I was like, I'm never going to be on TV. Like I very dramatic, like very, very dramatic. Like I'm never going to be a doctor. I'm never going to be on TV. <laughs> so I was like, I need to look for a job because all the stuff that I was doing was great, but nothing big had happened yet. And at 25, I was just like, I should be Oprah. Like, why am I not? Why am I not? Um, and so I um, started looking for jobs. Then I was like, bitch, this is not what you want. Like, you need to make a drastic change. I had this feeling in my gut to move to L.A., but I never wanted to be in L.A. That was never like my jam. I was I'm such an East Coaster. Like New York was definitely my my home. But I was like, you have to do something drastic. So I picked up and I moved to L.A. The same week that I was moving to L.A., I got an email from someone at casting at Catfish that was like, we would love to have you come on and guest co-host two episodes. And I was like, this is a fucking scam. I'm getting catfished. But YOLO, like, let's just, let's Were just you go with it. watching or a fan of the show before? Oh, yeah. I've been watching since the documentary. Okay. So I was for sure like, this is a fucking scam. I'm getting scammed. But my brain was so fucked up during that move because I was like I'm moving across the country away from my family I don't have a job I'm I've lost it like I've lost my mind and I don't know what I'm moving to LA for I'm like going like every other pageant bitch that I know like everybody moves to LA after <laughs> like, every is... pageant every homecoming queen yes. everyone that wants to be a model yeah. in there I was a hometown hottie in Maxim every hometown every. hottie <laughs> Single or cutie one. of the week. I forgot what it was. Yeah. But or cutie of the month. But it, it, they all move. And like, then you get here and you're like, wait. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone's charismatic. <laughs> yes. Everyone's, everyone's beautiful. hot. Everyone wants to do the exact same thing as me. And at the time I wanted to be on E! News. So I was like, literally, that's what everyone wants. Every TV host in the space wants that. But I was like, we're just going to go for it. And then when I got the email from Catfish, I ended up flying out. I think I got the email on like a Wednesday with my flight info. And they were like, you're flying out in two days to film this episode in Iowa City. I was like, eh, this is fucking fake. I'm probably going to get human trafficked. But oh, Jesus. at least I tried. <laughs> so <laughs> I went and it was great. It was amazing. I didn't believe it until Neve actually walked in the day that we were filming. And then I immediately was like, I'm going to shit myself because I was I was just, I didn't think that it was real. And then um I came back to New York to pack up my shit and move. I came back on a Sunday. The movers came on Monday and I was in L.A. the following day. And then they asked me to do two more episodes. And then they were like, let's do two more. And then they were like, let's do two more. And then Neve called me and was like, do you want to do this all the time? And I was like, I thought we had already decided that the first time that I came. How do, how do they figure that's out who they're putting on the show? And like, how how real are all these stories? Very, very. And it, honestly, I wish that people could see the behind the scenes. I can't even. Neve and I are great. Max was great. But the real fucking stars of Catfish are the people behind the scenes, like the casting people and the people who are. We have people on our team that literally fly out to like the hopeful. So the people who write in and stay with their family for like 
a week and just like get to know them, warm them up, see how they're feeling, like see if if it's really genuine and authentic. Of course, you have your people who come on and like just want to be on TV. Like it happens all the time. But most of the stories that we go for are like the casting team has been talking to them for like three years. So how do, how does this all transpire? How did like a good submission, meaning like yeah. someone you guys are like really going to invest? In how it. can Taylor submit? <laughs> yeah. That's, Walk him through it. That's, he's got his notepad out. He's like, and like how much pre work exists casting. before you're like, okay, we're going in and we're going to feature this person. There's a lot of pre work because we have to do background checks also. Um, but basically, a, a good submission would be someone either writing in on behalf of themselves or a friend that's being catfished and being like, this is my story. I've been talking to this person for this long, blah, blah, blah. Casting team will reach out to them, gauge like how valid is the story? Like, is there truth to it? Um, and then basically I like to describe the show as kind of like an escape the room. So there is someone on our team that knows who the person at the end is going to be. But Neve and I are in the dark the entire time that we're doing everything. So as you watch the show, when we open the laptop, doing the investigation, reading the email, all of that happens as you see it happening and nobody tells us anything. So there have been times when we are doing the research on a person for like three hours and we will look at our producer and be like, can we get can we get a clue? Like, can we get something? And they'll be like, okay, look at June of 2018. Then we'll scroll all the way down and like <laughs> look at June and find something, and then we can like go off of that. Okay, for <laughs> someone that has never watched this show mm -hmm. that's listening, what is a catfish? Mm -hmm. What do you when you say you're looking for clues? Do you mean clues with the catfish? And, and no, for, to find out who the catfish is. Got it. Okay, mm -hmm. so so just walk us through, like, if someone doesn't know what the show is, what the premise is, and what a catfish means. So maybe someone's listening and they're like, "Oh, I had catfish for dinner last yeah. night." <laughs> like, we gotta like, right? <laughs> we gotta break it down. We gotta break it down. Okay, we'll break it down. In fact, Taylor probably did have yeah. catfish for dinner. <laughs> like, <laughs> like honestly, it wouldn't surprise me. So catfish is great. <laughs> Um, so catfishing, basically, a lot of people know the term, but they don't know that there's an actual show behind it. And they don't know that there's an actual documentary before that. So the documentary is based around Neve, who's my co-host, who um, was catfished by a woman who claimed to be like a 20 something super cute girl living in I don't even fucking know where um, and like made up a whole life around this person, made up a whole life around their family, got the family involved and like was having conversations with them as this person's brother and this person's dad. And, you know, like it was like a whole thing. Um, but it ended up just being like this woman who lived in Michigan somewhere and was just really sad and lonely and wanted to talk to him. Um, and so that's basically what catfishing is. It's when you're talking to somebody on the Internet, usually um, who is presenting to you a completely different person than who they are in real life. And that can be visually or that can be their background. But I like to also say that like you can get catfished by people that you know in real life because how often have you met someone and you're like, oh my God, this person is great. And then you don't realize that like they have 20 felonies, um, live in a fucking shoebox and like are a psychopath. 